Hey, Joy fam. So, I just heard the doorbell ring. I think it was the FedEx guy bringing me some packages. Let's go get them. Big package and a little package. What's in here? Oh, yeah. What's in here? Bring it on in. Careful, careful. Good job. Can you put it on the floor for mommy? Careful. All right, guys, so that delivery was actually um, a sofa that I had ordered from Wayfair. So right from when we were building this house, I had envisioned a sofa at the entryway. Um, my idea for this was that um, when I'm looking out the double doors in the study, I would be able to see this sofa there. It could be a place that our kids could sit and play and read and, you know, do some of their iPad time whenever we are working in the office so I found this sofa on Wayfair and it is um, a leather sofa it has that really modern look that I wanted for the space and so the trick to this was I didn't want anything too wide and I also didn't want anything too deep because I didn't want it to eat too much into the space in the hallway so I think this piece right here is actually perfect for my space and so we're just working on putting it together and then we are gonna kind of see how it looks together so a little tip when you're shopping on Wayfair and I actually just found this out is that a lot of times the same item is listed by multiple vendors even though or multiple suppliers even though it's all on Wayfair like this particular sofa I found it under five different names and five different prices. And it ranged anywhere from like $400, $400 all the way to like 500 is what I saw it for. And I reached out to um, my Wayfair account person and I asked her, um, why this was and she shared with me that it was all the same sofa but it's carried by different suppliers and each supplier gets to set their own price and so that was interesting um, so if you're shopping for something be sure to look around because there might be another supplier right there on Wayfair that's carrying that same product but at a lesser price What do you guys think so far? I really like those mid-century modern legs on it. And then I like the material. It's, um, it, it doesn't feel cold at all when you sit on it. So I was really excited about that. That's always a drawback for me when it comes to leather is that fear that when I sit down, it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be uncomfortable. And that wasn't the case at all with this material. Right, it's all coming together. We're just sticking the little um, felt pads that come with it on the um, underneath the legs of the chair so that that way the chair is not scraping up on the floor if we ever needed to move it around. So my thought is where that um, entryway table is currently is where the sofa is going to be going. That was what I had imagined before we moved into this house. So you're going to see me moving things around. Um, I'm going to move that console out of the way eventually. That console, I had it in a previous home and I used it in the interim while the piece that I had ordered from Pottery Barn um, comes in. Hey Joy fam, so with all of the supply chain delay that has been going on, I wasn't sure we were still going to get this today, but I am so excited and I can't wait to show you guys. My entryway console table is finally here. This, we got it from Pottery Barn. It's been a couple of weeks and with our sofas being pushed back on when they were gonna be delivered, I just thought, you know, we're not gonna get any of this stuff for a while, but the console table did come in today and I can't wait to show you and I'm gonna be putting my decor pieces back on it, but first I wanted to show you the table. Here she is. 
look at her. Look at all the detail. I am so excited, guys. I've been waiting on this thing and it is finally here. So giving you a full front view there. Really sleek, really modern, really simple, but loving all the detail all along it. I'm probably gonna move it down a little bit this way. But I think it fits into the space just really nicely. I also have a few other items that came in. So I got the task lamp from Wayfair. That's what one of these boxes are. And it's gonna be going in the entryway here. One of these is a vase from Pottery Barn and another one is a small little side table from West Elm. So I actually haven't opened any of these yet. Now that the table is here, I'm gonna be putting my decor pieces back on the table and then just styling around the table as well as just styling the entire entryway here. So this was the sofa from Wayfair that you saw us unboxing and I have all of my decor that goes on my entryway table sitting on top of it right now. So I'll be moving some things around in this area, but this is what it generally looks like right now. So stay tuned as we get all of it back together. All right, guys, Dio is just helping me sweep up the entryway here. Um, I like to start all my decor projects by just kind of cleaning up the space. Um, it's been a long week, so just sweeping up all the dust and all the dirt. And I'm coming through with this new um, mop that I got. So guys, I purchased this on Amazon. My sister-in-law has one and I really, really like it. Um, the one she has at her house, but I don't know. Let me know if I put this together wrong. But my issue was that the arm was too short. Like I thought maybe it could be pulled out some more, but then it couldn't. And so ergonomically for me, like I struggled a little bit because I'm kind of tall and well, I'm 5'7", but the arm of that thing just felt really short. So let me know if I missed a step and if I didn't put something together right. Um, Daya's actually helping me because I did mess up initially whenever I was trying to squeegee the water out, I was holding on to the mop. Um, he was showing me that it needed to be like loosely on my hand so that the head of the mop could spin around. Um, and then he tries to like mess with the height of it too for me, but the height of the actual mop doesn't get any better. So I don't know. Um, I purchased this from Amazon and overall I will say it did a good job. I liked the finished product on what my floors looked like. It dried up really, you know, streak free and really nicely. But again, like, I don't know. I, after this portion, I did end up mumping the whole house. And let's just say my back hurt at the end of the day because it really was, the arm was just too short for me. But please let me know if I'm doing something wrong. So... I'm just going back through with a dry mop head since I want to work in the space now and just um, soaking up any excess water because the first time I used it I did not squeeze the water out um, all the way so this is just going to help the floors dry faster so that I can go ahead and get the space completed. Right, so remember I wanted to move it down a little so that's what I'm doing now moving it down a bit and then we are gonna grab those pieces and start to put them back wiping off the table it was just delivered by the pottery barn guys this morning want to make sure it's nice and clean so I start with that mirror that I've had for a really long time 
um, so I'm gonna have that mirror first and then you're gonna see me add my second mirror after I make sure that that first mirror is centered so you guys have seen me do um, a entryway decor previously um, but that also included some pieces that I put out for the holidays so what you're going to be seeing here the final finished product is going to be um, different from what you saw previously um, outside of the fact that of course I have this new gorgeous table So the pieces I have on my entryway here, those candle um, sticks are from Target. Um, I just have that little um, concrete feel of a plate there that I like to like drop keys and different things. But I'm just gonna be moving some things around here for a little bit, kind of trying to get a feel for what I want. Um, I also purchased the Joshua vase, I believe is what it's called, from Pottery Barn. And I wasn't sure yet if I was going to put it down on the floor under the table or if I was going to put it on top of the table. So that's why I keep messing with the plants and the books because I'm trying to decide what exactly I'm going to end up leaving in that space. But now I'm just unboxing um, some of the other items. So this box is from West Elm. It is actually the stool. Well, it's not a stool, sorry. It's the side table that I'm gonna be putting next to that entryway um, sofa that we have there. You can think of it sort of like a, that sofa is sort of like a settee, except it's bigger than a settee. It's actually, you could sit on there comfortably, two people could. So here's my table, I'm just setting that down. I'm gonna be moving the sofa down a little bit um, and then I'm gonna move my table closer. The pillows on my sofa are from Target. Now I'm just opening up that task lamp. It is from Wayfair. It was really inexpensive. I wanna say it was about 120 or so. Um, it is brass colored and they had different styles. Again, so many supply chain issues. This wasn't my first choice initially, but my first choice was out of stock and has been out of stock for a while. So I decided to go with this one. It is really pretty. Um, my helpers are just helping me put it together here. And I like this because it the height is adjustable. I also like that the cord is at the base. On some of them, the cord comes from the top and I think that looks kind of weird. And I also like that this one has a foot pedal that I step on to turn it on and off. So if you're considering this lamp, it is more of a gold than a brass, even though it's advertised as a brass. So I would keep that in mind. So here we go. I ended up going with that Joshua vase on the table, but look at how beautiful this is, guys. My entryway is coming together just like I imagined. I could not be more excited like I just I kept looking at this over and over and over and I'm just so in love with it so now that all of my holiday decor pieces are off you can see my console table that's kind of like my day-to-day -day look and then my sofa area here for my kids um, when they come home they kind of sit here and they play if I'm still in the office and I just I love the colors in this house I'm really playing into that modern transitional vibe um, and I would say with a hint of mid-century modern as well and this space it just it looks beautiful let me know what you think guys I think styling this space is very tricky because of the accent wall that we did we don't want the space to feel overwhelming but I think we did a really good job of tying it together so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments if you have any recommendations you know we're always open to it 
So we've gotten some questions about our family picture wall back there. If you guys are interested in seeing how we made the decision and put together that family gallery wall, please go ahead and leave a comment below. And if we have enough interest, we'll go ahead and um, make a, essentially a to-do video on how to put your own picture wall together and just make it look really seamless. So I think my final addition to this space is going to be a rug let me know what you guys think based on the decor pieces that I have out if you've seen a rug that will just look amazing in this space or you have any recommendations please let me know drop the name of the rug in the comments or drop a link where I can purchase it I am absolutely open to recommendations I wouldn't say I've seen anything that I love thank you so much for spending part of your day with us guys until next time joy fam